Have you recovered from yesterday, viewers, and have you got your breath back? I haven't, and I'm recording it straight after. So you really didn't think I was going to wait a day to record it after that last episode, did you? No chance. Nothing funny, nothing clever in this intro. We're in the midst of the run-in now. And this is probably our last really big challenge. Can we get over the hurdle of Manchester City at the Etihad? Let's find out. I know, I know, I shouldn't have said that was our last big hurdle, because knowing us, we'll probably win this game and then lose to Newcastle. So, oh, right, okay. For any of you that haven't been following the series so far, go back and watch it, go on, go back and watch it, and like all the videos. If you have enjoyed this series so far, please do drop a like on this episode before we even get going, because it's probably not going to get any prettier from here. Last time we met, we obviously beat Spurs with only nine men and then beat Watford to keep our title chances alive. We are now five points behind Liverpool. If you thought that they were going to do us any favours, you were wrong. They beat Wolves 5-0 yesterday in game. So that has left us needing a win pretty much from every single game this year if we are to be crowned champions. It is all very much in our hands. But this is probably going to be the hardest game we've got on paper between now and the end of the season. Reigning champions Man City have obviously lost their crown, but can they put a dent in our title bid? I believe I hope not. Again, a very, very equal record. I bang on about how our record against the big six isn't that good. But actually, when I look at it, it's not as bad as you think it might be. Or I think it is. So the team that I'm backing to beat Manchester City today... Donnarumma, Tierney, Ayer, Wood, Bellerin, who comes back in at right back for the suspended Max Aaron, Torreira and Arta. I'm giving Arta another chance to be a big game player for me as he partners up with our ever-present Uruguayan centre midfielder. He's been brilliant all the way through the series. He's one of the originals that's still here, along with Bellerin, Pepe and Kieran Tierney. Uh, Sarnes on the left, Amada is in the middle, Pepe on the right, and of course, big man Fabio Silva up front, fresh off a couple of goals in his last few games. He was the hero against Spurs. I need him to have a big game today against City. And they've got a phenomenal team. I mean, look at it. They've got Rhys James, Louise, Stones, Angelino, Pellegrini, Berg, Dybala, Mbappe, Sterling, Gabriel Jesus, and still got Edison in goal. It is a phenomenal lineup, and now that I can see it here, I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to get aggressive, so I expect to see a much better performance today. A bit harsh on the players, because they weren't the ones that played in the, champ in the Europa League. But if he gets them motivated, why not go for it? Bellerin here, down the right for the first highlight of the game. Plays it back to Torreira. Torreira into Wood, who had a very, very good game against Spurs last time out. Pepe on the ball now. Go on, mate. Drive it that back four. Go on. I mean, not like that. Pepe back to Bellerin. Bellerin. This is decent from Bellerin. He's, oh, he's given the ball away. He's still somehow got it. Incredible from Bellerin. Into Pepe. Is he going to shoot? Hits Amada. It's in! Thiago Amada scored in the first five minutes. Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! What a finish from Thiago Amada. Yes! Yes! Oh, God, no, no. Oh, no, no. Because if we lose me, I've bottled it. It's superb play by Bellerin. And how has Edison not saved that? I think he's tipped it on into his own net. Oh, now what do we do? Do I sit back or do I continue to go attacking? Go for the throat. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to praise the boys. Oh, here we go. Dybala over a free kick. We just need a clean sheet. We've been defensively so good throughout the series. Please don't let that bite me in the arse now. We get second. We're going to shut up shop a little bit. Donnarumma hits it forward. Sane, poor against Reese James. He doesn't even try to get up for that one. Sterling beats Bellerin. Sterling hits it wide. We're all over the gap at the back. I'm going to get positive rather than attacking. We just need to rein it in a little bit. I don't care if this is the crappiest game ever. No more highlights. I don't want it to be entertaining. I will happily take a 1-0 away at the Etihad. I do not give a stuff if it's not good to watch. I just, yes, please boys, just hold on. Just hold on. Sane hasn't done anything in recent months either. And he's down to a 6.5. Might have to bring Smith Rowe on, I think. But at the moment, we're heading towards half-time. And it looks like we're going to take a 1-0 lead in at the break. Which would be a massive, massive lead. And Liverpool must be watching this at the moment. Klopp and the boys. And wondering what's going to happen. But there is a highlight before half-time. Please do not concede. Oh, Bellerin's got to be tied to Sterling there. Sterling's just ran through. That is a wild shot. Very, very poor. And if they're shooting from there, let them. That's fine. 
Unless it's Kevin De Bruyne, in which case don't. Oh my god. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to certainly say I'm pleased how things are going at the moment. Keep it up. Sane has been absolutely atrocious. So I'm going to take him off. Smith Rowe is going to come on. Do I bring on Declan Rice and go a bit defensive? If I get to 60 minutes, it's the same. Declan Rice is coming on. Come on, boy. I'm going to demand more, though. We, we're sack we got a lot of the ball, but we're letting City have way too many shots. And it's a corner to Amir. Dybala over it, whipping it in. Great header. Cleared off the line. Is that Bellerin as well? Magic. No. No. No, Aya. You absolute turd bucket. What are you doing? Literally, he just cleared it into Sander Berg. You flipping muppet. Look at this. Dybala. I mean, it's a brilliant bit of play from Bellerin. Just hoof it. Just hoof it. Just, oh, piss off. Like that. as well. Seriously. Like that. You're really going to do that to me. Right, Torreira's not having a good game. Off you come, mate. On comes Declan Rice. Come on, mate. Give me a little bit more rigidity in that midfield. Give me a little bit of muscle. That's what we need. Oh, ideally, we need a goal. Really, we need a goal. Get the tempo high. Get it down the wings. Get the overlaps going. We've got we to go and score now. And they know that, City. They know that. This is so annoying. Fabio, this is not the time to be playing at 6.4. Come on, mate. You turned it on in the bloody Spurs game. Do it for me now. We finally had another shot on target. Come on. Oh, I can't. If we lose to that, I'm going to be at. I feel sick. I feel sick. Not like this. Dybala hits it. <gasps> it drifts just white. Oh, we're so poor. We're just not creating anything. I is a donkey. What of a dog? Arter's coming off. Joe Willett comes on. Joe Willett goes and sits in behind. Declan Rice sitting that deep line playmaker role. And we're going to go. Forget going shorter. We're going to hit it long. Forget working the ball into the box. Shoot on sight. Hit those early crosses. Run at the fence. Play for set pieces. Do all these things. We're going for it. I've got no choice. I have to go for this because we need a win. We need to win. Forget attacking. We're going very attacking. Come on, boys. There's still time. Just one goal will do it. We get that defence and we're in. Because I don't think Stones and Angelino are particularly that good. We can get Pepe up against them. We might have a chance. Don Room has been brilliant today, though. I've just seen the amount of saves he's made. They've had 13 shots on target. It's incredible. And we've had so many bookings. This doesn't look good. As they whip it in. Aya heads it clear. Someone get to it. Anyone. Angelino Sterling. He's offside. Offside. Eh -eh. No, no, no. Offside. A draw is not enough. Get the full backs forward. A draw is not good enough in this game. Get everyone forward. Come on, boys. There's got to be some magic left. We didn't go through all this just to throw it away because I had cleared the ball into Sander Berg. Four minutes of added on time. Free kick. Must be. Amada. Pepe. Oh, no, 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 no. Dybala. Do not get that first one. And Declan, good lad. Wood. Into Almada. Come on, mate. This has got to be a good delivery. Oh, my God. We're going all the way back. Okay. Donnarumma. Oh, sugar. Donnarumma. No, 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 no. No. Sian's going through. Great tackle by Declan Rice. He's off. He's off. He's off. Okay. We'll have to take the draw. Oh, no. Not like this. Right. Drop Willock and Almada back. Oh, this is not what we needed. Why have we suddenly gone? So We barely had any red cards all year. And I've had three in the last two episodes. 45 seconds left, and there's a highlight. Is it going to come to us? Donnarumma hits it clear, only as far as John Stone's not like this. Burke hits it in. Raheem Sterling's in. Donnarumma makes a brilliant save. Come on, get it forward. We've got 30 seconds to find a winner. Great ball. Smith Rowe. Fabio's through. Play him. You selfish. Oh, I don't. Fabio was in. You saw the run. Just, I've never seen that. You. I should have turned the shoot on sight off, shouldn't I? Not like this. Sian, not like this, please. It's 2 1 City. And Sian, oh, he's done this to me before. I can't believe this. This is all because Smith Rowe had that flipping shot. We've lost. I can't believe we've lost, but we've lost. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Well, it's not good enough, is it? Okay, I certainly say, I'm not happy with your performance. You can't help but feel that was it. We had it. Amada scored. We had it.
All we can do now is win our game in hand against Newcastle and then we take it to the final day. The real issue I've got here now is the fact that we've got to pump Newcastle as well because Liverpool are six goals ahead of us on goal difference. So this needs to be a big win against Newcastle because if Liverpool draw against Chelsea and we win, it'll come down to goal difference and we're behind on that as well. I cannot lose the title on goal difference. I'm going to go with the same team. I haven't really got much of a choice. I'm going to get Jean-Pierre on the bench though because he's been playing quite well. To be fair, Armada, he had a blinder in that game. He was brilliant. Just, I'm just so disappointed. Just that goal from Ayer, if he just hadn't cleared it against them, the point would have been perfect. Maybe I should have been a bit more defensive, I don't know. Well, that's good. It looks like they've come to play for um, play for a point. We've got to take it to the final day of the season. Come on, we can do this. Liverpool will obviously be watching this game. Let's just hope that we get an early goal, get in amongst it, win this game, get it done. 6-0 would be great. That would put us right back. And I mean, what a finale it would be at the end of the season if that happened. Torreira, great ball here into Hector Bellerin. Go on, mate. Pick a good ball. Sort of. Fabio didn't get there. And it's fallen to Armado. Hits it just over the bar. Come on, Thiago, mate. Get your uh, get your head in the game. You were very good last time out. Need more of that, please. I don't really know where I've gone wrong this year. That's the annoying thing. We've just had the odd performance now and again that's just shot us in the foot. Sane back to Tierney. Go on, mate. Whip this in. Tierney whips it in. Pepe, how have you missed, mate? That's a sitter. Don't be one of those days. Arta. Decent ball there to Pepe. Pepe into Torreira. Lovely ball over the top there for Hector. Go on, mate. You pick out a good ball. Bellerin. Tees to the back post. Sane. For God's sake, that's a simple header. Tierney. Almada. We're turning it up here. Turning the screw. I just need that goal. And then we'll be all right. I'll feel a lot safer once we've got one. Bellerin on the ball. Whipping it in. Back post. Sane. For God's sake. Get it on target, you pleb. I mean, this is just... It's just infuriating. It's just so annoying. How many chances can you create without scoring? Whip the ball in. Wood, Woodman claims it. Of course he does. I, I bet 1-0 Newcastle. I can feel it. I can just feel it. The way that these last few episodes have gone, I can just feel it. Nathan Wood carrying the ball forward here. Decent ball into Pepe. Go on, mate. I mean, yeah. Anytime you want to pick out a man. Sane. Hey, there you go. He's finally scored well in Leroy. It's only taken you... Seven attempts. I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. It's not a time. Seven attempts. No. <laughs> Good ball in by Pepe. Leroy at the back post. Rising above his man. He's been beating him all day in the air. We finally get a goal. Success. Right, now. We've got to go and get another five. Well, it's been absolute domination from us so far. And I'm a bit annoyed that Fabio hasn't got himself a goal or anything yet. Arta as well. Just pissing me off, mate. Can you just play normally? Or play well? You're just so shit. I mean, they're motivated, but I need more than motivation, lads. We need goals. Get me some goals. Where are you all? Where are you? Where are you? That's a pen. Oh, sorry, I was just literally there. I just kind of got caught watching the highlight because I've just made a change. And we have got a pen. Pepe. Tuck it away, my man. Tuck it away. It should be Fabio. Why isn't Fabio the pen taker? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Come on, Pepe. Bang! 2-0. Game secured. Now. All about how many goals we can get. Good finish by Pepe. He's come back into a bit of form now towards the end of the season. Need more goals. Come on, boys. We're only four away from Liverpool now. Need more goals. Well, it looks like it's going to be 2-0, which is ultimately isn't a bad result. We maintain some pressure on Liverpool, and now I just have to rely on Chelsea. It sounds horrible, but we just have to rely on Chelsea to do something for us. If it was at Stamford Bridge... I feel a lot more confident, but I'm feeling really, really nervous now. I feel like that City game, when we went one up, I should have shut up shop. I should have tried to shut up shop. And so it all comes down to one match against Aston Villa and Liverpool against Chelsea, both of which will be shown on the final day, kick-off at 3pm on Sunday the 19th of May 2024. It won't be the end of the series, because obviously we've still got an FA Cup game to play against Liverpool, but it could be the last Premier League game that we play in the series, and it is our last chance of winning a title. The game against City today, we needed to win. We threw it away. I'm a little bit upset by it all, but we've given it a damn good run. Hopefully there's a little bit more magic and there's one more miracle left in it for us. We deserve it. After all the work we've put in, we deserve it, but... I've got this bad feeling we're going to lose on goal difference, and that's going to be incredibly upsetting. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, of course, then please do like, share, and subscribe. And until I see you for that Premier League season finale, 
stay cool.